Hey y'all, I drove up to Batasa Open Space to do a fast run the other day, and I thought I'd share my sub four minute uh, post run stretching routine. You don't have to do it in this order, but you can see, first I bend forward and I kind of wiggle my hips, get my low back loosened up in flexion. Then I bring my arms overhead and I really stretch back into extension to open up the front of my body. Take some deep breaths, you can kind of hear me breathing as I do this. A few leg swings, which is usually something I do before I run, where I get my hamstring to stretch at the front, get my quad to stretch at the back, try to keep my hips relatively still, my abs a little bit tense so my low back isn't flailing around. Then I uh, stretch my calves out. One thing I make sure to do when I do this is I keep my foot really straight and I raise my arch up so my foot is supinated rather than pronated. And you'll find that this gets you a much better stretch through um, your calf and through your ankle to keep it from stiffening up at the end of your runs. Um, once I stretch my calves out for a little bit, which I usually spend a little more time doing because it feels so good, is I'll um, use the door with my window open to get my quad to stretch. Again, I'm keeping my abs tight to maintain a neutral pelvis. I'm not letting my back arch. Um, the variation of bringing your arm on that side over your head really opens up all the fascia and the muscle up into your low back and into your shoulder as well. You know, a few things I really like to do aside from making sure I do both sides is to linger on the areas where you feel you might be a little bit more tight and just give a little extra time. You know, you might spend up to 30 seconds in each of these spots before you get in your car to drive home. Uh, I really like the feeling of the quad stretch, so I tend to spend some, uh, some extra time there. And then I get into a little bit of IT band. I cross the side I'm stretching behind the other leg, reach around, grab my car, or whatever sturdy surface you wanna grab. Opens up all the way from the ankle, all the way up to the shoulder. You can move your hips forward or backward to find uh, the spot where you feel like you get the best stretch uh, through that part of your back. Um, again, this one feels real nice, so I'll tend to linger there a little while. Notice how much I'm breathing um, through all these stretches. I'm really making sure, being intentional about taking deep breaths and relaxing. Put that foot up, cross it to one side, and then reach around, grab something if you can, and rotate your spine, even look over the shoulder toward the opposite side. You'll get a little bit, a little bit of this in your hip, but you can see I'm getting a lot of rotation through my thoracic spine. Um, which is something you need a lot for running, um, especially when you're running fast. So this is something that I like to, to ring out and give a little bit of extra attention. Then I'm gonna do a little more focus work on my glute piriformis um, area. And you can do this just by doing a little squat on one leg and crossing the other leg to really get into your hip. I'm keeping my spine real straight when I do this. I'm not letting my back round. And you'll find that you get a lot nicer stretch through the piriformis than the glute. Um, holding on for balance and just really making sure I'm, I'm breathing uh, as I'm doing this stretch. Of course, you can take in the views um, while you're in that hold position. Last one, I put my leg up, holding on for balance again. My knee on the left side in this case is actually slightly bent. I don't want it to be locked out. And the other leg, you can see I'm driving my knee out, so my knee is tracking over my toe on the leg that I'm standing on to make sure that that knee is nice and healthy. Got my back straight, got my butt back, sort of sitting back into the stretch, and you get a nice deep stretch into the groin. Um, you know, again, just I can't reinforce enough how important it is to breathe through these stretches. That's about all there is to it. It should take less than five minutes. I think you're gonna find that doing something nourishing for your body after a long or hard run really helps to calm your nervous system and reduces aches and pains. Um, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.